Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1121, where we have 35 moves to clear out 30 jelly and reach 54,000 points. So let's look at this board. It's my first playthrough for recording. I see the jelly is all located over here, and right now there's nothing to populate it, but there's a portal system. So we have the hope of that if we can clear out what's blocking this portal which is three popcorn and then this uh, chocolate and licorice. Now not only do we have to get at least one of these removed so we can populate this area, we have to remove all three because we have some uh, jelly under here as well. So that's going to be tough. And we've got ticking time bombs set to destroy us. I don't know what number they're set at, but I know I want to make as many specials as I can to try to thwart their activity and bust through here. Now that I've got this licorice cage open, that means I have chocolates that's going to be growing at me. So now I'm going to have to hold that at bay while I'm making other moves. And I normally don't chase the chocolate too much, but we have very limited space here. I don't want any more of it consumed by chocolate. Let's, though, see if we can make some specials. Oh, I really hoped those green would help me out. So see now, instead of taking this out, I'm pursuing an opportunity to make specials with this green. And here we've got the ticking time bombs coming at us. There's that special I was looking for. If I could drop it down just one more, it would have more impact. I'm going to risk it and take it down even further. Yeah, I risked it, but that's okay. It still made a good impact here. Make some more specials. Mm. Yikes. The only move I have to make is to take out this red that I can see. That's not really where I wanted to take that out. It has very little impact on the board. Here we go. Here's a nice special. Now all the popcorn that could grow at me is gone. Ticking time bomb set at 8. Not nice, but not awful in this compact area. It's not going to matter too much. I have to take them out soon anyway. Here we're going to make a purple striped candy. Ooh, and this is kind of fun. So this is the special we're going to hook up now. And this has a nice impact on all this popcorn. Look at this. And now I have the good fortune of being able to put two of these together to take them out. Before I do that, if I remove all red, again knowing that these may detonate wildly out of control. We already saw one opportunity that I missed because I chose to uh, take another opportunity instead of pursuing what I had in front of me right away. And now I have the decision, do I take out one layer of everything or do I make a special and take out this blue? I love the impact of this blue. If this were a striped candy, I wouldn't do it. And again, possibly missing this opportunity, I'm going to try to encourage more blue to come down here. I'm not going to take out all purple with this because I do feel that that is likely to set up you know, I'll be taking out the green, or the green, the orange and the purple and the blue might just then kind of coalesce and take everything out. But what I do want is some blue to sit right up here. So when I do this, we've got a nice big impact. And this is going to take out another color, and if it takes out red, I don't know what it took out. Might have. That one's gone now. This is my first playthrough on this level, as is evidenced by the fact that I'm collecting sugar drops. So I don't know if I just got super lucky or if uh, my strategy paid off. You can put comments in the section and let me know. And remember, if you're uh, frustrated because it looks like I did get a lucky board, you can always bring in boosters to help you. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.